Which do you think is worse, being skeptical and untrusting or being gullible and naive? Let's say Jack speaks Lashanahara about Jill. Should you believe Jack and suspect Jill? Or should you disbelieve Jack and assume the best about Jill? A common source of Lashanahara is hearing it from a friend or a relative, someone you would generally trust. Perhaps you might think that their world should carry more weight and be considered more legitimate. A sophisticated person can develop the ability to hear something and reserve judgment about whether it's true. This is a critical skill we, if we hear Lashan Hara. It will allow us to remember what we hear for the future benefit and simultaneously maintain respect for the person being spoken about. Edgar Allan Poe, a 19th century writer said, believe nothing you hear and only half of what you see. Perhaps that is why God gave us an imagination so you can imagine something other than what you saw. Did Jack really know that the Lashanahara he spoke about Jill was true? Maybe Jack thought he knew what he saw, but he was mistaken. Maybe Jack really didn't, did see Jill do it, but later Jill went and fixed what she did without him finding out. Maybe Jack was only repeating what he heard someone else say about Jill without any firsthand knowledge at all. And even after all of your attempts at judging Jill favorably, you can't help but think what you heard is true. You still can't repeat the Lashana Hara about Jill to anyone else or cause her any harm because of it. Today, we look at the positive side of a story and, and use your imagination to come up with a creative explanation for how the entire situation was misunderstood. I'm Michael Steinberg, and I'm keeping it clean.